Good morning, it is Sunday and it's another early start. Another you and drop off done. It's currently quarter past seven. We left around 22 quarter seven this morning. So I got up about 20 past six, something like that. So yeah, another early start. No makeup on obviously yet. Just my casual clothes. Put the kettle on, I'm gonna make a nice cup of tea. And then, we've actually got a fair bit planned for today now because we want to go and visit Eddie's mum and then we also want to go to, to the, um, they have a market on at the Chilwell Garage, so the old Trent Barton bus depot garage, they have a big sort of craft fair thing every, every once in a while, I don't think it's every Sunday, but it's quite good, but there's also a YouTuber that I watch called Fauna Rose, Megan who does like scrunchies and things, she's there. I like supporting her, so I was thinking of going over. I did take the pork out in the end yesterday and decided I'm gonna do that for dinner. I've got potatoes and I've got frozen veg. So if the rules are worst, we shall have that <laughs> for dinner. I mean, there's only meat that's really bothered about veg anyway. Eddie and the boys aren't bothered about veg at all. So they won't care. Out of the way, take my hoodie off. It's not as cold this morning as it has been. I think it was like, let's see what temperature it is now. 10 degrees, I think my car said 13. So not as bad as it has been recently. Yeah, I'm going to make my cup of tea and uh, hopefully next time I see you, a bit more presentable. I have got breakfast stuff in because I bought it last night when I picked you and up. I think I might have showed you actually. So uh, I have got breakfast stuff. So yeah, I shall uh, catch you soon. So I have sat and watched a couple of, I've actually edited my video and I've got that uploaded ready for five o'clock. So I'm ahead of the game there. Um, I've sat and watched a couple of videos and I've been doing my knitting and I'll show you my progress. So I've actually started on my charts. So I did all the rib, then I did all the bit that this section here, and now I'm on two charts. So I'm on chart A, which is here, which is like lots of different sort of yarn overs, slips, slip, slip knits and knit togethers. So I'm excited to see how it turns out. I've just done two rows of it. I think in total it's 12 for the actual repeat. So, um, so yeah, we'll see how it turns out. But I'm actually going to go and make breakfast now. So it's nearly ten past nine. Eddie's got up, so I'm going to go and put breakfast on. I'm hoping we can sit outside to eat because, although it might be chilly, the sun is shining and there's blue sky. So I'm going to go and I think I'm just going to do some bacon. I'm going to do some eggs and some cherry tomatoes, and some toast. And then I'll put the jams out as well, and we can just have toast and jam with it, with it if we want to when we've finished eating the the bacon and egg. So that's the plan. And then obviously I'll go and get ready for my day because I do, do look a state and I'm aware I look a state. <laughs> but obviously he was in bed. I don't want to disturb him having his lie in. And then, um, yeah, so that's where I am with my knitting. Quite pleased with the progress on that. And uh, like I said, I'll go and get ready for my day. And then we'll probably pop down to Eddie's mum's at some point. I'm not sure whether she'll be up yet. So we won't, won't go down this early. Obviously by the time we've had breakfast, it'll be probably like tennis anyway. And then um, once I've got this sorted out, that'll take me ages. <laughs> so it'll be a while later. I'll just show you this one who's sunbathing. You can't see very clearly, but she's literally lying with her tummy to the sun, having a good old sunbathe. So she's not sleeping terribly well. She's coming out in sympathy with me, I think. But let me just tidy my wall away. And she... Um, she gets up and she paces quite a bit during the night at the minute, so I don't quite know what's gone off there or why she's doing that, but I'm hoping she stops soon because it disturbs Eddie and it disturbs me. So it's not ideal. I might leave actually I might leave my pattern out and just put my knitting away because I've kind of attached a piece of paper to my chart so I know where I am. Because I'm very forgetful. Right, I'm going to switch the TV off because we're heading downstairs. There's no point leaving that on. And I shall 
catch you probably when I've got breakfast out. I thought I'd quickly open this one now. So this is the the dog car seat preps that I ordered on Amazon. And I think it had 30% off, so I think it came to like under 20 pounds. I don't know if it's gonna fit my car. It says it fits all sorts of different cars and different sizes. Picture of a dog on there to show you what it is, just in case you didn't know when you ordered it. Seat cover. I mean, this isn't going to go back in, this is it in a hurry. <laughs> Tom's behind the camera. He was out last night, so he's not going to come anywhere near the camera. But Eddie's outside doing something and making noise, so just made me laugh. He's winding the uh, washing line in. Making a meal of it. Not that difficult. Don't talk like this. <laughs> God, I'm right, nearly there. We're nearly there. There's one more to go. Why did this trap it up so well? I should have just cut moss, shouldn't I? It's probably better for the environment to cut moss as well. So it's like quilted and it's supposed to have like straps on either side. This is a little window so she can see through to where we're sitting and that goes across the back seat and you like hook it on. It's got like these hooks and, um, and strap bits. So I'll have to give that a go later and see whether it fits my car. It smells plasticky, <laughs> very plasticky. But I hope it will do the job and I think you also get a bring it like dog harness thing for the car, she's quite handy. So yeah, I'll give that a go later and see how that works out. Oh, here he is, trying to get into the video again, look. <laughs> oh, sorry. You know I was recording? I don't normally talk like that when I'm looking at something. I thought you talked to You have been, okay. <laughs> <laughs> coffee as well. Yes, coffee. <laughs> That's always in it. <laughs> Are you scrunchy? Are you scrunchy? Can I show my other one as well? Yeah, go on then. Little, uh... Yeah, I've showed mine in the bag. Very, very pretty. I haven't shown it in my hair because. Don't need to. I'm showing the label, aren't I? <laughs> there we go. We're back from um, our outing, so we went to Eddie's mum's and then we went, we got home and went straight over to Chilwell Garage, which I did record some footage of, so you'd have already seen that. And then I got back, Chloe and Ethan stayed for a little while just for a bit of a chat, and they've gone now. Chloe did do me an outfit of the day post, which went on Instagram, so if you follow me on Instagram, you'll have seen that on my Too Tie Too Blog Instagram account. And um, I don't do much on there, I'm not very good. I'm not really good at keeping up on all these social medias. I love YouTube but the others I really struggle with so you follow me on there and I will try and do a bit more on there soon and I should be using it to pr promote my videos for when the algorithm doesn't do it but I really don't <laughs> but anyway so she did an outfit of the day for me because I've got a little dress on today and I bought a new hair scrunchie which I don't know if you can see that or not um 
from the lovely Fauna Rose. I did record and I, I will have already tagged her on the screen anyway. And then um, got back and I'm doing dinner. So I've got my roast pork joint in the oven with some potatoes to do roast potatoes. I'm doing cauliflower cheese because I'm really short on veg. I'm just using what's in the freezer. So I'm doing peas and sweet corn. I've got roast potatoes, mashed potato, and I'm going to do some cabbage. So that's going to be dinner. I'm looking forward to it actually. It should be nice anyway. I'm just doing some cheese sauce for my cauliflower cheese. I'm going to do a pack of cheese sauce, not a diet variety, because I'm just in the mood for that today. So yeah, I can't believe the contrasting weather. So bearing in mind we sat outside to eat this morning. Look at it now. So I don't know if you can see that or not, but it is horrible. How quickly did that change? Look at the sky. <laughs> so I'm glad I did get my vitamin D in this morning, sitting outside when I could. And like I say, it was nice and warm, but it's not warm now, it's gone quite chilly. So I'm looking forward to a nice roast dinner. And I've even got my Yorkshire puddings out the freezer from last week, so I haven't got to worry about making them. So yeah, it's all good. And uh, I'll show you hopefully when I get dinner out. I'm gonna go and hopefully when I've got my cauliflower cheese in the oven, and everything's on the go, I'm going to go and get my knitting. In fact, I might bring it down and do it on the table down here. I might do that. It is easier to do it on the table, I think, when I'm doing the charts. I think Ewan's finishing in about an hour and a half, maybe two hours. So as long as dinner's kind of ready before then. I think dinner, actually, I think the meat will be ready in about an hour and a half, so it'll probably coincide when he finishes work. So what is it now? 25 to 4? Yeah, we'll see. Not too worried, I can always leave ready to get the dinner out and then I'll have it when I get back. So I've got dinner all ready and then typically Ewan messaged to say him and his colleague were ready to be picked up. So I dished dinner out and then I dashed out to go and pick up Ewan and his friend. So just got back, my dinner's now in the microwave, just heating it through to make sure it's hot. Got a little friend with me. This little monkey caused me an issue before I went out as well, so... So whilst everything was in the oven cooking, I got my knitting out and I started to do the third row of my chart A for my lace and it was going quite happily along and then she started barking at me and sometimes she does that and I don't know why still she does it. I don't know if it's because she wanted to go out. We couldn't go out for a walk because it was raining quite heavy at that point. I gave her a few treats and she was still barking so I opened the back door to let her out but in the meantime I ended up going wrong on my chart and I didn't realise until I got quite far along and then I had to undo all of it and it's got knit knit two together, slip slip knits, yarn over so undoing it is a bit of a, a bit of a nightmare so I've gone back and I've got to a certain point now and what I'm doing now is I'm putting markers in under after each repeat of the chart so that I know where I am if, I'm, if I look I'll be able to see at a glance which stitch I should be on should have done that before i don't know why i didn't so at least it's made it a bit easier for me to follow now she's actually falling asleep sitting on that mat now oh well, she's now sniffing but she was sitting with her eyes shut are you falling asleep are you falling asleep where are you she's like my little shadow when i'm here she just she just sits in here in the middle Anyway, I think she's had her dinner. So mine has now finished heating and I'll show it you when I get it out of the microwave. Yeah, she's definitely gonna nod off. If I move, she's definitely gonna wake back up though. <laughs> Light is not very good, but tonight's dinner is roast pork, peas and sweet corn, a little bit of mashed potato, a bit of cabbage, roast potatoes and some cauliflower cheese and then a bit of gravy over the top. So I haven't tracked my calories at all today. I've been really naughty. I think I just needed a bit of a break. Over the last few days, I haven't been very good at tracking particularly. And I do feel like I just needed a bit of a break from it. But from tomorrow, I think I'm going to try and get back onto it properly and properly stick to it. It's supposed to be way day Friday. Jury's out as to whether I'm going to weigh in or not. And I'm not making excuses. Just felt rubbish. So um, I'm not going to give myself a hard time over it. It's my journey that I'm on. If <laughs> That's what you call it. Um, so yeah, I'm just going to do the best I can. So tomorrow I'll be back on my workout. I'll be back trying to eat healthily. I haven't been food shopping though. I need to try and put an online order through. 
or pop out in the morning. The problem is I dropped you in off early and the shops aren't all open, so I can't really go on my way back. But we'll see. I'll see what I can sort out. But anyway, I'm going to eat my dinner while it's now hot and I shall um, catch you later.